Yo guys, what's going on? It's Gamer on Grand Street here back with a brand new video. Today, Black Ops 2 is announced as backwards compatible. It is currently downloaded on my Xbox. The gameplay in the background is actually Xbox One Black Ops 2 gameplay. It's not the best, but it's like one of the first two games I played. So, there's some clips for you guys to enjoy. I will be making, for those who care, for those who are asking, I will be making series on this with silent spectrum and a bunch of my other buddies as well also bringing back some old series from other channels onto this one maybe we're gonna see how this is go this is definitely gonna extend the call of duty life cycle in my opinion on top of that we're gonna be doing game battles and a bunch of other fun random stuff i got a couple old videos that i'm gonna try and remake on the xbox one as well uh some secret ones that i'm not gonna tell you guys about because i'm super excited about trying to recreate them in and of itself and again, so if you guys aren't aware, Black Ops 2, again, is backwards compatible. You have to download a mandatory 16 gigabyte update to install it. So I'm just throwing that out there for you guys, if you guys want to hear about that. Also, you can re-download all of your DLC. I've already played DLC maps. The map in the background is a DLC map. And you get all of your camos back, along with mandatorily having to download Nuketown 2025 to even play the game. All of your stats are there, your classes, everything that you had previously selected is there. So, for all of you guys that were curious about that, there you go. Regardless, on top of that, uh, in my opinion, the sensitivity feels a little fast. In changing from 360 to Xbox One, it feels like the, the controller is a little bit looser for the Xbox One. So, I'm going to end up dropping my sensitivity. Maybe you guys should test that out yourselves. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Guys, Black Ops 2 is out. Go get it if you have not already got it. For those people who do not own it backwards compatibility or like don't have the disc for 360, it is 20 bucks. So for you guys that don't have it previously owned, then you guys have to pay $19.99. But that's it. That's not even a bad price. That's pretty much what you paid for Modern Warfare Remastered when you do the math. And if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get five likes if we can. Again, that's how the whole system works. More Black Ops 2 videos will be coming out. This has been your boy Game Aggression. I'll see you guys. Later. Peace out.